But how do termites start a nest? And how does it turn into a colony that can cause so much damage? To answer this, we need to look at the termite life cycle. Termite nests are formed by a king and a queen, which are the winged termites which pair off during the mating flight. They land, shed their wings and try and find a suitable location to start a new colony. Many of these reproductives die before they can start a nest. Subterranean termites nest in moist soil, where there is a suitable food source nearby. With termites able to squeeze through gaps as small as two millimetres, they can easily find their way into your home. The queens that are successful in starting a nest lay eggs which develop into worker termites. These worker termites then take over most of the activities in the colony, including the foraging, leaving the queen to enlarge and turn into an egg-laying machine. In some species, she can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day, so the nest can quickly grow to a size that can start to cause damage. As the colony matures, it also produces soldiers to defend the colony and reproductives, new kings and queens which can fly off to start new nests. These winged termites are a darker colour than the pale workers to provide extra protection from drying out. Depending on the species, at maturity, the number of termites in a colony can vary between several hundred to over two million individuals. A nest like this may take several years to reach maturity, but nests of the most damaging species can start to cause significant damage to property only two to three years after founding. With queens living for several decades, a mature colony such as this has the potential to cause significant damage year in, year out. In the natural